Hi, my name is Eric Whitkop. I'm an SE in the New England area covering major accounts. And today I'm going to show you a demo of Prisma Cloud working with Cortex XOR. Here is the topology. Let me explain. I don't want to go too fast. So we're going to take our time and talk about exactly what's happening. Prisma Cloud, in case you're not familiar, is a cloud security platform that will scan out of band through APIs your public clouds and ensuring that um, none of the configurations are uh, in an insecure state. If they are, we can alert and we can remediate right from Prisma Cloud. Okay. We also map to compliancy frameworks and we take an inventory of all your cloud objects. From a high level, that's a, a good start as to what Prisma Cloud can do. It can do a lot more, but that's a good start. Okay. So now that we've defined what Prisma Cloud is, if we were to create a public S3 bucket, we would expect Prisma Cloud to raise an alarm, right? And in that event, what we'd like to see is Cortex XOR pull in that alarm in JSON, parse it into KV pairs, and let me work with that data. Once I have all that data, I'd like to run what's called a playbook. I'd like to email a manager of the S3 bucket. I'd like to look up the owner of the S3 bucket. And then I'd like to email that person. And then I'd like to um, learn what the CLI remediation commands would be. I'd like to see the fully qualified S3 URL. And I'll even print um, console steps to remediate this particular incident. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, this is Prisma Cloud. This is the user interface in a SaaS environment where we have a policy here for um, S3 buckets are publicly accessible, right? And then I made an alert rule to email myself for this, but I, I made an alert rule that will generate uh, an alert ID. And then XOR can do an API pull and pull that JSON in, okay? Um, okay, that's good for here. So now we're ready to, I, oh, by the way, I've also onboarded my, um, my AWS account in Prisma Cloud so it has access uh, to, to uh, do the API pull. So let's go make an S3 bucket that's very insecure. It's not going to have versioning. It's not going to have encryption. It's not going to have cloud trail logging. It's going to be public ACL, okay? Um, demo bad bucket one, two, three, something like that. I don't know. Create the bucket. It's still not public. We got to go in. We're going to give it a public ACL. Very bad, right? Don't do this at home. Warnings, warnings. Okay. Now I'm going to pause this video. It takes about, you know, three to five minutes and the alert will pop up. And then we're going to go over to XOR. We're going to take a look at what our playbook has done for us. Okay, so a few minutes have passed and we have an alert. So we can go into this particular uh, alert for public uh, ACLs on a bucket. And here is our demo bad bucket one, two, three, right? Now notice I could remediate from right here, right? Assuming that my account, my AWS onboarded account has read write permissions, I could hit remediate and deal with the issue right here. And I could even automate all this. But do I want to do that? Maybe I don't. There's different use cases where maybe I want to get better visibility. I want to alert certain people. I want to investigate. Um, I also don't want thrashing. I don't want, you know, um, like a Circle CI or a Jenkins building code over and over again. And then Prisma Cloud is shutting it down and we have thrashing back and forth. So maybe, maybe you don't want to remediate for whatever reason. Um, so let's let's walk through what that would look like if you didn't want to remediate from Prisma Cloud. You would leverage XOR, right? So let's go check on XOR. Now, this is the uh, user interface for XOR on version 5.5, .5. and we've onboard we've added integrations for Prisma Cloud. Uh, you'll notice this would be the one that we're interested in, in this case. Notice we have Prisma Access. Um, container security with Prisma Cloud Compute, um, and lots of other cool stuff. So that's one thing I need to on to uh, add is that integration, and then I might need um, uh, email. Uh, so I'll go here, 
this is a popular one, right? And I just used a Gmail uh, in here and off it goes. Active Directory, do the same thing. So add all your integrations that you think you're gonna need and then you write a playbook, right? If we look at the playbook, the playbook looks something like this. This is my playbook. Um, essentially from here, I have a bunch of if statements, conditional if statements. If the policy ID is in my case here, ending in 916 for public S3 buckets, it was it is going to go down this leg of the tree and we're gonna follow this. So this is the raw playbook. But we have an incident now because we just created that alert. And let's go, let's go pull up our incident and let's see what the playbook did for us. Okay, of course, these all fired, right? We talked about how there's lots of different policies. Uh, around server-side encryption, cloud trail logging, um, versioning, all the all the good stuff, right? We're just gonna look at one thing today and keep it simple. So right here, this is a new incident that just came in. Okay, demo bad bucket one, two, three, that's us, right? Now, from here, the SOC has the ability to, you know, pull up this we can actually go into the bucket, it's public. So let's go see what's in there. The bucket's empty, but if there are files here, we could start clicking on them and find out if there's PII data, credit cards, and so on, right? So that's kind of nice. Um, this is the, the work plan of the playbook that ran. Okay, I, I was able to parse that, that 916 ID out and we went down this leg like we talked about. And these are all tasks. All these green boxes are what are called tasks. And a lot of them, some of them are going to be based on the integration of AD or uh, the Prisma Cloud, formerly known as Redlock, and then email. So all these tasks are available once we've added that integration. But let's walk through this and find out how we've enriched this particular incident. So first I want to assign it to an, uh, an analyst, Brad Marchand is uh, all my analysts are uh, the first line of the Bruins. Then what I did is I fully qualified this string. I grabbed the region, I grabbed the bucket name, and then I, and I concatenated all this with S3 and Amazon uh, AWS. So now it's an actual usable um, FQDN that I can click on as a SOC analyst. I get, I grab the user name from uh as input it's ewitcop which it came from the raw json from aws that was the account name i look that up against ad and then i find out the manager his name is john manager okay then i find the manager's email okay it's john manager at fake.com I get remediation details, the actual CLI command that I could use to mitigate this threat immediately. I could pa paste that in my console and make this ACL private instantly, assuming I have access to that account, right? That's key. But that, that would be the CLI command. Then we cut the emails. Now I stop it here and I start an SLA timer perhaps, maybe it's uh, four hours. Maybe it's a day, it's up to you. I give my, my, my SOC analyst time to review and then possibly close it, okay? From a top level, here's all the data that we've collected. Um, there's an SLA timer, just, this is all just demo data, but this is all customizable, by the way. You can reorder these, add new fields, it's very easy to do. Here's some policy recommendations. Um, you can go and, um, so let me see, we can go to the war room, which is a collection of data. And from here, what I can do is I can, if I find something that's interesting, I can mark it as evidence. What would this be? Um, URL and emails. This is just an example. I mean, this is not that great, but, um, mark it as evidence. Now I'm making my own collection of artifacts that I think are interesting as a SOC analyst, okay? Um, here I have remediate, here's the actual steps in the console if I were to go through and remediate this threat. 
Again, you're gonna need the creds to get into that account, but the, we're giving you the steps as to what to do, all right? And at the end of the day, this is the context data. So we have the integration for Prisma Cloud. We pulled in via a RESTful API, JSON. The integration piece has parsed it into KV pairs, key value pairs for us. Now there's 77 items in the incident. This is all the sort of the raw data, if you will. It's, it's been cleaned up, but it's now usable in a playbook. It could be input or output in any one of these tasks that we had in our playbook, right? I could just say input would be type and that would be Prisma Cloud and the output I wanna do something with. But I can actually see the raw JSON and this is what I'm working with, okay? Anyway, I, I could show you the, the emails. I mean, that's not that interesting, but the emails were cut and now the manager has been alerted. The owner of the account uh, in AWS has been alerted. The SOC has visibility. Um, they have the idea of what we could do to remediate that. And we've asked the um, owner to call the SOC immediately. Let me pull that up for you. Maybe that is interesting. So the email said, alert in the subject, uh, accessible to public. Your name's been associated with a public S3 bucket in AWS that is unauthorized. Please call the SOC. Um, this is your account ID. This is the bucket. Um, this is the, if you want to click on it, this is the console. This is pretty cool. So this is the console that they would, that the owner of the account would use to get in there and quickly make it private. So all they have to do is just grab this, put it in their browser and uh, log in and shut that off. All right, um, maybe I'll mark that as evidence. Oh, I gotta give it a name. So this is XOR working with Prisma Cloud. Um, thank you very much.